Welcome to Altair Engineering Training and Support. Uh, in this video, I am going to cover the SAE Supra 2013 or 2014 roll cage uh, using 1D mesh, how to interpolate the results and how to do the rendering, that is how to change the background images stuff. So we will start with the Hyperview process. So to open Hyperview, go to start all programs Altair Hyperworks Hyperview once you click on Hyperview it will open the Hyperview GUI it will show you this license warning so just click close to it so one this is the hyper uh, Hyperview GUI so once the Hyperview GUI opens click on open folder select load model browse the location where you have saved the model so it's 1D analysis I will use the same result file which uh, in the earlier video I have created the six different analysis so as you can see so as the earlier one we have six different analysis that is front impact side impact torsional bump rollover and normal model so I will use the same image, uh, same result file. So to view the results of displacement and stress, click on contour. So this icon uh, is contour icon. So click on contour. In contour option, select the result type as displacement and click on apply. So this will show you the displacement values if you don't want to view these in the scientific way you can directly click on edit legend from the value and color numeric format scientific to fixed say apply and ok so instead of this so you can see it in, in a numerical way I will again show you, you just click on edit legend on the bottom on the same contour page and you can edit here just from the numerical numeric format scientific to fixed say apply and ok so it will move to a numeric values now if you want to see the value where the maximum displacement is uh, coming as so you can just click on major icon this icon is used as the major icon check the box in front of static mean max as these are the static results so check the box in front of static mean max of the minimum one so here you can find that this is the static maximum value that is 1.352 if you want to if you don't want to uh, get the three values up to three decimal place so you can lower it down to one point say four something from here from this you can increase the values or you can decrease the value okay so also you can off this if you don't want this thing you can also off this so go to on the model browser go to nodes model info so in this way it will be off that is the model info where is your file stuff <coughs> so now I will show you how to capture the images for to put it in the presentations so to capture the images uh, there are different options available in Hyperview itself but the best option is to capture it by dragging the window by selecting the window you want to capture so uh, we will use that particularly just click on this and from one end to another drag a window I will name it as front impact 
and save it in the desktop. So if I minimize this, you can see. <coughs> you can see that the image has been captured. So we can put this same image in the presentation directly. Uh, as I can see here. You can directly put this image in the presentation. If you magnify it, it will be, it, you can see this, this way. Now I will move towards the rendering portion. So in this way you can capture the different images. So now I will move to the rendering option. Similarly, in the same way you can move or you can get the images of side impact by creating this. Desktop. Side impact. This is the side impact. Just copy and paste it in a presentation. So in this way, yeah, the side impact is done. Now, uh, you can also find the values of displacement for torsional or if you want to find the values of uh, stresses, go to result, again go to contour, displacement, elemental stresses, select C bar, C B maxial stresses, averaging method to simple and say apply. So these are the values of stresses. We can uh, find easily the values of that and then capture the images in the same way desktop torsional analysis you can open this paste it here so these are the values or these are the images of different analysis. So in this way you can capture these types of images directly from the hyperview and paste it on your presentation. Or else there is one more way of doing the advanced rendering that is changing the background to, uh, but to improve or to visually improve the results so that uh, your results will be more attractive to view. So that is also possible in Hyper-V. I will show you that. Now I will show you how to change the uh, desktop, uh, the background of Hyper-V that, that I will show you. So to change the background of the Hyper-V, click on this icon. This icon is uh, named as image panel. Then in the image panel, select the type as 2D image label you can uh, name it as whatever you want to name then file type click on open browse the location where you have uh, different images so as I have downloaded some of the images from the desk uh, this and now you can change it from here also you can decrease the size of these images or the other way is you can directly change the uh, background by going to hyper uh, open uh, Microsoft PowerPoint open different images uh, say for example I will open this image say copy and paste it here Then again go to this and open the Altias logo, paste that here. You can group them and save as picture. 
in the desktop say altair image now go to hyperview go to results and delete this we will import um, another one again click on this image panel go to files desktop select altair image and say open this will import the image and you can just move it to the right hand side and then you can put this put the image of your roll case structure or any model here or if you don't want to put this like a static maximum minimum value you can just simply off it with the nodes also you can put some nodes here so go to nodes to put the nodes or uh, go to nodes click on add don't uh, click on anchor to nodes so that you can move these nodes and you can just just untick anchor to screen and you can no, write it down here as this is the result for torsional analysis maximum st stress is 151.4 newton per mm square and factor of safety is if I consider that as a steel so it's somewhere around 2 so you have to calculate that and say apply so in this way you can also make a note here in the hyperverse GUI itself or you can move this to fit to the screen and then again click on capture image from this end to this end again on the desktop torsional you can also change the format so this is the torsional I will again uh, capture the image from this end to this end you can capture the image desktop torsional save then copy and you can just paste it in the ppt if I delete this so in this way you can capture the images I will bring this one also here so it's it will be easy to find the difference so you can see in this way you can put the results like uh, changing the background so it will be more attractive and more reliable to view uh, also you can put some notes here like torsional analysis maximum stress is this factor of safety is somewhat then also you can put like displacement maximum displacement is this so you can put a notes here also you can put the images and the altair logo of course and in this way you can just use the uh, common version of uh, hyperview and you can just capture the images so these are the different ways to capture the images and rendering so I will again delete this and uh, show you some animation plots so how to view the animation also I will off this note so now I will show you how to animate this model so to animate this model first select a linear set linear animation mode click on apply so in this way you can see the animation 
if you go to deformed if the animation is very less so you can maximize it the value will be same just it's a magnified way to view the animation in the same way you can just change it to bump analysis to rollover analysis these are the modal analysis first mode second third fourth so these are the four modes four different modes then the front impact so in this way uh, I have ended with the different options available in hyperview to capture the images to view the results to interpolate the results so in this way you can capture the images or view the results so there are different way options available in hyperview so in this way I'll end this video Thank you.